we are going to be doing three recipes of like satisfying things. It's gonna be pretty cool. But before we begin, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to be notified when we uh, post our videos, why not? And also give this video a big thumbs up. Okay guys, so the three things that we're making today is number one, stress ball. It's a water balloon stress ball and I cannot tell you how many Get times it. I squeeze this. Like honestly, it's like it's, a squishy. It's so You could like replace this oh, and like, box. I don't know if you guys saw the thumbnail, but you can trick people. I blew a bubble. Oh, uh -huh. you can like bring this to school and like if you're like my if your school's like my school where you're not allowed to have gum at school you can be like walk around like that and then they'll be like uh no gum and you'll be like what do you mean and then they'll be like grossed out because you have a stress ball in your mouth <laughs> i want it mine anyways that is the first thing we'll be making item number two so item number two is Ublik. Blech. A lot of you guys have heard of Ublik and a lot of you guys haven't. And even if you heard of it, maybe you didn't know how to make it. So we're gonna show you guys how it's to make really it. It's really easy. And it's really so fun to play for. Two things. Basically what it is, is it's basically like this liquid, but like solid at the same time. Where like, if you hit it, it will feel like it's solid. But if you just let your fingers melt into it, it will like become liquid and it will let your fingers like, no, it's literally like the coolest thing. It's Ever. so satisfying. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, it I is. could play with it for 100,000 days. I mean, who couldn't? Item number three. It is like probably one of my favorite things. It yeah. is cloud putty. So I know. basically it's so good. It's not slime, it's putty, but it's like cloud slime, but it's cloud putty. So like, like I don't color really, of cloud. I don't really know how to describe it, yeah. but like it's kind of like butterfly. Yeah, it's weird. It's I'll weird. have to show you guys. So stay tuned for the end. But for now, I'm gonna go show you guys everything, all the tools and ingredients you'll need, and then we'll go make those three items. So you can just make sure that you guys have all the tools on that little checklist. I'm gonna put it up for about ten seconds. to get moving and start with our first satisfying thing the bubble gum thing like okay guys now we are ready we have both of our ingredients we have one white balloon mm -hmm. i think it's clear and it is not a water balloon it has to be a just regular rubber balloon ow and you also need a water a bottle half water bottle that yeah. it's like you don't want it to be all the way full because that might be a little hard you want it to like i mean you might want even less than this for it to be good okay but anyways the first step is to apply the balloon onto the top of the water bottle so basically how you do this step is you're going to take the balloon with your fingers, you're gonna open it and stretch it out. I know, I'll hold it. And then you're just gonna put it on oh, 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 oh. the top of this oh, no. Oh, no. invention. Are you, like, are you like gonna like dump it over? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like that would be cool. So, no. basically, oh my God, th hair. this is how it should have your water there. And then the balloon should be securely fastened all the way around bottle and just hanging out like that now this second step is probably one of the hardest steps you're going to have to flip your water bottle over i knew it but the thing is that kind of sucks is that you don't want your water balloon to get too full you just want it to like have this much water and this is not a lot of water you don't want it to be any more than this or else your balloon will pop since it's not a water balloon <laughs> so I'm like just gonna do a little bit. It's not even going in. Stop! Stop! Okay, wait. 
Oh guys, this is scary. Oh, no. So we poured a bit inside oh, there. That's it. I'm gonna pour a little bit more. Oh my god. Oh no, okay. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That's wait, it, wait, that's wait. it. It's that's not, it. it's not good. It's not. Okay, that's it. That's uh, that's as much as I. Put Are you in. sure? Yes, yes, I promise. Or a little bit more. Yeah, I put a little bit more. And oh no, it's like oh no. And, okay, stop, stop. Wait, stop, wait, stop. Stop. It's stop. stop. It's stop. Yes, it is. It's it's perfect. It's perfect. It's just because when you tie it, it's it gets good. bigger. Yes. Oh no, I know. Oh, no. Wait. Okay. Wait. Oh no. no. Okay. There we go. Oh no, okay, there. It's perfect uh, now. Okay, guys. Okay. After oh, here. much struggle, oh, yeah. as you guys oh. just saw, oh, no. and a little oh, bit of no. water spilling, me. we finally have it. So this is the size. Oh, so like we didn't even use that much water. Oh no. Oh no. We're having water dripping. So then you want to immediately go ahead and tie your balloon. We're gonna do that over a sink so that we don't get water everywhere. So guys, we have two of these awesome stress balls. Oh my gosh. So we tied it up. Your balloon should look like this. Literally. And that was literally so easy. It, it barely, you basically only needed a balloon. Cause like, if you don't have water in your house, that's, that's kind of crazy. And I mean, most people have a water bottle, come yeah, on. So literally this, is literally the greatest invention in the or world. Or if you want to do this, then you have to And go it was and honestly super easy and like super inexpensive. Like some stress balls at the store like cost a lot of money. I know. Literally, I'm like getting stressed because I'm talking to you guys. So I need a, I need a squeeze. <laughs> and now you guys have life. You have a baby. Squeeze. Mm. I'm blowing my gum. Mm. And now it's time to move on to recipe number two. Okay, you guys are probably gonna see us squishing these the whole time. Yeah, they are so satisfying. Like, we do not lie, they are satisfying. But now it's time my baby. for recipe number two. My so, you guys just my saw. Baby. Guys, you guys just saw the ingredient list for recipe number two, which is the egg white. So basically, your, for this recipe, you need a cup and you need a sink. We're in the bathroom because Ublik is pretty messy, so you mm -hmm. might want to go really outside or in the bathroom. You're gonna need, need some water, but we have a sink. Yeah, so. Yep, oh, so, need water. Yeah, so we already have water in here, so we don't really need a cup or anything. But we do have to measure out our water and our um, cornstarch, so we have some measuring spoons, and we have a cup to do it in, so I don't know if I already mentioned that. But then also, we have our handy dandy cornstarch. We use handy dandy Argo cornstarch. Literally two out of the three recipes include cornstarch. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd so say. basically, it all depends on how much oobleck you really want to make, but we're gonna go ahead and add in the little one. Five. What is that the one? We're gonna go ahead and add in five teaspoons of cornstarch. So one. Can I do the next one? I'm gonna do three and then you can do the last two. Two. Then three and then I'm gonna do one. And then three. Two. Okay, go ahead. Two more. And done. You can move on the water and then it'll be done. Like honestly, all these recipes are super simple. So you can go ahead and, and add in five teaspoons. Two. And if you add in five teaspoons of done. water, you're gonna go, wanna go ahead and add in four teaspoons. I mean, if you're gonna add in five teaspoons of water, you're gonna wanna go ahead and add in four teaspoons of water. Can I do, can I do, you do two and I'll do two. Okay. One. One. Two, two, three. Three. Wait, no, you do the third one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, pardon. 
three. You know, it's looking like it's about to like form and I don't want to add too much water. So we're gonna start with three and if we need more, we'll add more. Mm -hmm, yeah. So let's go ahead and use the back of a makeup brush. Can I do it? So yeah, sure. So just go ahead and we're going to mix it. This is how it should look. And now is just gonna go ahead. Oh my gosh, it already feels hard. Try to mix it up the best that you can. Oh my gosh, that's hard. We might have to go in with our hands. We'll see what happens. Okay guys, after some mixing, we realized we just made the perfect oobleck, literally. Let me try. It's not a lot. Let me just show them. It's not a lot. See, that's all you got in it. That's literally all we got in there. Wait, but literally it's so cool. So we're gonna show you what oobleck really does right now. Okay guys, so here it is. And how it works is if you like tap it really hard, I bet, wait here, I need to wash my hands to guys see. One second. Videotaping the oobleck. So basically, it's white. My hands are totally clean. Mm -hmm. Well, there's so, a little. No, there's nothing. Oh, I thought, it just looks like it because yeah. it's wet. So basically, mm -hmm. I can just go ahead and I can hit it and like I get nothing on. Oh but my ready, gosh. I'm gonna let my hands just soak. Oh my gosh, that looks <gasps> And like, Oh, that's a lot. So you can that's either like, like and then like you can like. Oh. <laughs> it's so interesting because like, wait, no, hold it. Hold the camera. It's so, hold it higher though. And move your finger. It's so weird because like, it's like, can either be this or it can be like really like hard. Like it's not like moving. Like you guys just have to try it for yourself. Cause like, look, it's like watery, but then can like, hit it and like, it's like solid. Like literally, like I can be like playing with it. Like, it's like, it's like slime, it's like solid. I wanna try now. Like, and then I just like live my hands so it feels like it's totally. Can I try now? Different. Yeah, we're gonna wash my hands and then Giselle's gonna play around. Okay guys, now for recipe three. The one that I've been waiting for this whole time. Okay. So like, show them. this show them. is basically the cloud putty. Mm -hmm. It is literally, the best part about it is that it's soft. That's what makes it so satisfying. So can I tell them something real quick with, about it? I wanna wait. So basically the thing, the best part about this putty is that you can just like roll it in a ball or like flatten it like that. Yeah, and then you can just And then rub. just rub your finger on it and like you can make your thumbprint and just sitting here and rubbing your thumb against it. It's just like so relaxing. You're probably like, what the heck? But oh it's God. actually really true. So now let's learn how to make it. As you saw in the ingredient checklist, you'll be needing a cup to do it in, and you're going to be, go ahead and put five teaspoons of cornstarch in the cup. We've already done that, and it already looks like a mess. <laughs> but anyways, now you also need conditioner, and you're going to, we put five oh, teaspoons. Here's the recipe. Yeah, that's our little recipe card. But anyways, you're gonna need five if we, I put five teaspoons of cornstarch in there and you will need five teaspoons of conditioner. So let's go get those five teaspoons of conditioner. I mean, not five teaspoons, five pumps. You don't want five teaspoons, just five pumps. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna start with five pumps, but you might even need more. Okay guys, we got the five pumps of conditioner. And uh, yeah, Giselle's just over here playing with her putty because she's obsessed. <laughs> and we might need more, but since this is putty, I'm just gonna, I don't know, should I go in with my hands? I think you should go in your hands. I'm no. going in my hands right now. No, I'm gonna go get uh, the back of a makeup brush because I don't want to get my hands too dirty. Now, just mm. go ahead and mix it until it turns into your consistency that you like. Giselle, are you, are you gonna help me or are you just gonna sit here and play with the, the satisfyingness? I don't know. 
Okay, guys. Anyways, so we were mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing, and we realized that it's kind of just lumpy and a clump. It's not like this. And yeah, it's not at all like that. So we're gonna go ahead and add in five more pumps of conditioner. I know you think it's a little crazy, but it's like conditioner. we have to. Two, three, four, five. Okay guys, by the end of this video, I'm by myself because Giselle ditched me to go play with her cloud slime, but I have to show you this guys. I cleaned it up and cloud putty is awesome. And I love like how, how vibrant that white color like it is. So here it is. It is literally the best invention ever. I'm gonna play with it a little bit and show you guys like how you can use it. And then I'll have to say bye. And if you guys haven't already, please go hit that subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up and turn on post notifications to see if there's any more cool recipes to see. Because maybe I might do another one. <laughs> there's so many recipes out there for satisfying stuff. There could be like, I could like do a thousand videos on that. <laughs>